I quit. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Not my old job in the IT department, but my new job as your executive assistant, which you think I'm going to accept. Your thinking could not be more wrong in this matter. I need to go Wednesday. It's Friday, and the answer is no. These computers have been upgraded. Far more processing power than your typical secretary. Did you know I went to MIT? Guess what I majored in? Hint, not the secretarial art. Felicity! We all need to have secret identities now. If I'm going to be Oliver Queen's CEO, then I can't very well travel down 18 floors every time you and I need to discuss how we spend our nights. And I love spending the night with you. Three, two, one. I worked very hard to get where I am, and it wasn't so I could fetch you coffee. Well, it could be worse. My secret identity is a black driver. Right now, I need you to figure out how the hijackers are getting a line on the goods earmarked for Glade's memorial. If we know how they're picking their targets, we'll know when and where to stop them. Fine. Oh, may I get you a cup of coffee? You're not actually offering to get me a cup of coffee, are you? Yeah, nope. That won't be happening, ever. Well, if you can bring yourself to do it, can you please make reservations for Dig, Carly, and I Saturday night at Table Salt? Sure. I'll get right on that. Using the internet, which you also happen to have access to. You still haven't told him? He has enough on his plate. Last year, when Oliver Queen returned to Starling City, he was met with flowers and well wishes. However, today, down at Glade's Memorial, he was met with a far less cordial homecoming. The question is no longer, where have you been, Oliver Queen? Now it's, but what have you done for me lately? Mr. Queen was not available for comment.